The West Ham Massive are pleased to support Iron Supporting Food Banks. They are a group of West Ham fans and friends inspired by the work of other football food banks around the country. They collect food and cash donations for Newham Food Bank in Beckton, who supply sub-distribution centres in the borough seven days a week and hand out several hundred three-day emergency food packs every month to families in need. They are also working with other groups to improve conditions for vulnerable adults and children in the Newham community. You can help by making a donation to their Just Giving page. You will find the link to this in the description section of the video details in this stream. Thanks for your support. Come on, you irons. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the West Ham Massive. Thanks for joining me. As always, guys, please don't forget to drop a like on the stream, comment on it, share the stream to your social media platforms and subscribe to the YouTube channel. All these things are free. Make sure you hit the bell icon. You'll get alerts on new content. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you very much indeed for your support in this particular matter. So <clears throat> what do we want to talk about today? Well, there's been a tweet put out, which I will share. I will put it up on the screen so that everybody knows that I am speaking the truth. I'm not making stuff up. I am just reporting stuff that is out there, ladies and gentlemen. I'll go full screen with this. So there it is on X from the Twitter account of Fabrizio Romano, the well-known and respected Italian football journalist. And as you can see there, it says very clearly, Aaron Wambisaka to West Ham, here we go. Now, usually when he has those three words in a tweet, it usually means that barring anything unforeseen happening, this is going to happen. So a verbal, verbal agreement is in place for the right back to join, join West Ham United from Manchester United as planned. Understand medical tests are already booked in for Sunday. That's tomorrow as I record this, but by the time this goes out, it will probably be today. A little bit of time travel involved here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the fee will be approximately £15 million. Manchester United have authorised Aaron Wambisaka to travel and Mizrawi of Bayern Munich will be joining soon. And yeah, it's it's good news. I mean, it's it's again, Tim Stiton's vision, along with Julian Lopetegui, is, is coming to fruition. This will be, if it comes off, and I have no reason to doubt that this is going to happen, barring anything strange happening at the medical or personal terms, maybe not being arrived at. I think this is this is a done deal. And I, I suspect that this may well be the final piece of the jigsaw, barring again any unforeseen circumstances. I suspect that signing number eight will be the close of our business of transfers coming into the club. And when you stop and think about the fact that it was on the 10th of August 2023, that we made the first signing of that particular summer transfer window, and that was Edson Alvarez. And here we are on the 10th, as I recall this, the 10th of August, one whole year later. And here we are, we've made seven signings, seventh being Jean-Claire Tadebo, and it looks like signing number eight will be Aaron Wambisaka. Now, obviously, the medical's booked for Sunday. I suspect that the announcement will be made on Monday, but you never know. So Aaron Wambasaka, just a little bit of information about him. He came through the youth ranks at Crystal Palace. He was there from very young. He grew up in Croydon. He was born in Croydon and grew up in New Addington, in actual fact, which is just down the road. He's a right back by trade. He did play at right wing earlier in his career, but he's principally played at fullback for the vast majority of his career. He went from Crystal Palace to Manchester United in 2019. And he's also played for the England under-21s and under-20s. He's also represented the Democratic Republic of Congo also as an under-20. So he, as far as his international allegiances are concerned, he could go either way. He, he could play for the country of his birth, England, 
or the country of his parentage of obviously the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, as far as his style of play is concerned, he's a little bit of a throwback in that he's a right back that principally does defend, and um, as opposed to the modern fullback, which is probably a winger that's just lying a little bit deeper. Um, so he's he's defensively orientated. He's got good pace, slide tackling, one-on-one -on -one defensively. He is very, very solid. Um, offensively, that's where possibly the criticisms that that people have of him are sort of coming from. He's he's not someone that's going to sort of go careering down the right hand side like a Trent Alexander Arnold or a Ryan um uh Kyle Walker, excuse me, or Reese James or someone like that. He's he's like I say, he's a defend first, attack second, um defend uh, defender right back. So um in total he's made 190 appearances for Manchester United in all competitions. And he's only scored two goals. So, again, that feeds into that narrative of he's not an offensive right fullback. Um, as far as his honours are concerned, he was part of the FA Cup winning team that obviously turned Manchester, Manchester City. They shocked them at Wembley. Um, he's also got a League Cup to his name. And he was a member of the Europa League runners-up team of 2020-2021. So, he's, he's a player that I think will add an awful lot of strength to our defensive lineup. I think it's a well-established fact that Vladimir Kufal, don't get me wrong, £5 million investment several seasons ago. He's been good value for money from whatever you want to say in terms of you know what we paid and the service that we've got and all of the rest of it. But I do think that he's now... He's now going to transition into being a squad player. He'll be transitioned from a first team player into a bench player. He'll provide cover for Wambisaka from this point on. And there's no shame in that, as I say. But Aaron Wambisaka is going to come in £15 million investment. This is good news. London born player, as I say, he's from the Croydon area, South London, sort of neck of the woods. And yeah, he's he's going to add a bit of defensive solidity down that right hand side, and he's only twenty six years of age, so he's still you would argue he's not reached his peak just yet. He's probably got his peak in the future years, so we're we're going to benefit from that. And this is this is a really good signing. Now there could be other signings that come down the track. That's possible, but for now, I think that this will probably be the final piece of the jigsaw that has been put in place by Tim Steyton in conjunction with Julien Lopetegui. But what do you think? Do you think this is a good signing? Do you think that actually maybe we could have gone for a slightly more offensive right fullback in maybe akin to a Kyle Walker-Peters or an Arnau Martinez or even Nusir Mazrawi? I know obviously it looks like he's going to Manchester United essentially to replace Wan-Bissaka. Or do you actually think that you're a bit like me, that actually you're a little bit old school and you want your defenders to be able to defend first and attack second? Let me know your thoughts. You've got the comment section below. Get stuck into that. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. And please don't forget to like, comment on and share this stream to your social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And make sure you hit the bell icon for alerts and new content. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for your support. All these actions that you can take are free. They help the channel out. It really would be appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you now. Thank you very much for your time. Don't forget to support the Iron Supporting Food Banks charity. Come on, you irons, and we'll see you next time. Take care. The West Ham Massive are pleased to support Iron Supporting Food Banks. They are a group of West Ham fans and friends inspired by the work of other football food banks around the country. They collect food and cash donations for Newham Food Bank in Beckton, who supply sub-distribution centres in the borough seven days a week and hand out several hundred three-day emergency food packs every month to families in need. They are also working with other groups to improve conditions for vulnerable adults and children in the Newham community. You can help by making a donation to their Just Giving page. You will find the link to this in the description section of the video details in this stream. Thanks for your support. Come on, you irons.